really depends on comfort more than anything, I'd say. And if Mr. E is confident in his ability to keep Ally at bay in that type of range, then this is definitely the optimal pick. Mm, okay. He's looking for that spacing already, just starting off with some fares. Yep. Another important thing, though, that Lucina has is her moves are a lot more safe on block when you don't get the tippers. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, like, it's almost as safe as Tipper Marth on block. So those oh. grabs that Ally's going to be looking for, she can avoid that a little bit better. Nice. See, oh, okay, yeah, perfect pivot back. All right, he has it in him. He knows what to grab. do. Yeah, I mean, it really helps against the stubby characters, especially who struggle to reach you. <laughs> I like that, just waiting for an ally to do something to come in, and he just rolls away and gets back to stage that he lost by deciding to go for the trump. Yeah, it's another Leo-esque thing. He's a very roll-heavy player, which you wouldn't expect at such a high level. Oh, oh no, he's that's dead. death. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> just that's so away. smart, though, because Ally knew Martha and Lucina players love to come onto the stage with that drop-off second jump fair. Yeah. And if you're not air dodging, you're going to get pushed back by Flood. Then all of a sudden, without a jump, their recovery becomes pretty underwhelming. Oh, my gosh. And a nice cross-up coming out from Ally to start up the combo. Definitely something you want to look for when fighting against Marth because you can just get behind Marth and Marth doesn't have too many options. Maybe turn around, grab, but that takes a while to do. And back air, a little hard to hit. Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa, back air right through the cape, <laughs> even though he was already facing the other way. I know there's some weird interaction between back airs and cape in this game. Not exactly sure how it works, but jabbed the up tilt. Mr. E staying alive here, even after that ridiculous flood kill. Uh, and Mr. E had the neutral in the beginning, too, so a little shocking that he got KO'd by that, but you have to watch out that second jump as playing a Marth or Lucina character. Second jump means a lot to get stuffed out. Also, starting the stock at about 65 to ally zero, just count that as being grabbed once or twice by Mario, yeah. right? You pretty much start at that amount of damage anyway, so Mr. E definitely has a clear head here. I'm sure he's not sweating it too much. All right, ally just getting those bread and butters. A couple up airs into up B, another shot to do it. Ooh, goes nice. for fair instead, though. I see what Mr. E's going for, but Ally keeps getting in a lot more than you expect. I feel like he has to hold back just a little bit more before doing an attack. Like, he did a jab attack, and he missed it, and that's when Ally was able to come in. But if he just waits for Ally to try to come in, then do the jab attack, he might be able to stuff him out like he's looking forward. All right, Ally with a little bit of a lead here, and of course that prime percent just over 110. So when you're going to see this man swing up smashes like a wild man. Oh, Ooh, and he doesn't that. even need it. Ah, uh, that looked like the untackable spin, too. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Maybe Mr. E just wasn't ready for it. But the weak Nair to jab lock forward smash is going to close game one out for Ally. I can check it out. We have, like, a replay thing. I have the stream open on my phone, so I'm able to see. Oh, actually, it wasn't, but unfortunately wasn't able to check it. Sad for Mr. E, but I feel like he could do a lot better. He just has to watch out for some of the, the jank ally kills, I'm going to call it. <laughs> that is definitely the ally special. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because it looks like he's trying to be flashy, but that's how he plays. He just plays like that. He's not fooling around. Yeah, and I feel like ally's not even particularly flashy. It's just, like, weird. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Very unconventional. I always like to say what everybody else says. He plays a character. Not like not that he plays a character. The character is him. Right, Whatever character right. he picks up becomes ally. Like, if ally can fight in real life, he fight like this yeah. Mario. I heard you saying that at GTX. <laughs> I was cracking up. I was like, man, Kitar, I want some of what you're having. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Uh, nice clean combos. Getting the grab so early. Mr. E just has to clean up that spacing. Oh, almost with the tech chase. That was sick by Ally. He just backed off a little bit for the sake of covering maybe both stand up and roll back, but he didn't quite commit hard enough to catch that roll. Ooh. Ooh, the Dancing Blade actually pushing him out of range of the grab, though. Yeah, almost looked like he finished the Dancing Blade just to do that. And if he had gotten that side B, it might have been death right there. Uh, I think it would have. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was already gone. Okay. Beautiful reset. <laughs> I like spacing. It's so silly. What is, like, that looked like 4 Glory. It looked like CPU level 3 was playing just yeah, now. Yeah, right with the turnarounds, just fidgeting in place. Yeah, let's see if you recover, though. Fading back, though during his air dodge, just to make sure that even if Mr. E read it, he'd have to put himself at a serious risk to come chase him. All right, he has to be very safe. Watch out for that up smash. You know Ally's going to look for it. Maybe a backer to knock him off the stage and try to edge guard, but most likely he's going to go for that up smash unless Mr. E approaches too hard and gets back thrown. Yeah, he cannot get caught by the edge with that. And Ally, of course, quite a ways away from dying to Marth's up throw at this point. Ooh. Ooh. That was clean. Was that a landing mutual air into up tilt? That it was. was. Nice. I really like that. See if Marth's he land well. Yeah, Marth's landing there. A great setup move. Wow, and with no tipper, still able to kill. <laughs> that double roll back. I love that. Uh, not that one, though. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you got to watch it when you're rolling into your opponent. Double roll back works really well because you get away from your opponent, you just get further away. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, 
That's the Mr. E Classic! The footstools. He is, I'd say, hands down, the best footstooler in Smash 4. That is, heck was that? that is actually the Mr. E class. You know about that, right? No. You didn't know? Dude, he goes for that a lot. The double <laughs> footstool. He he was ready. That was no fluke. <laughs> he did one foot slide. I already thought it was over. He just did an extra, you know what, just to make sure. Yeah, no, he knew because Ali still had his double jump. He'd be able to reach, so he's like, all right, I know he's gonna come with the double jump. I'm staying here and going for another footstool. Absolutely sick stuff. Man, we've seen some craziness in this set so far. The flood, the double footstools. Hey, a lot of people would possibly expect Ally to just win this clean, but again, this is Marth Mario, a matchup that I think is either even or slightly in Marth's favor, either one, but it's a matchup that's a little hard for Mario because you can just space out, and Mr. E seems to know what he's doing with the spacing, and especially yeah. with those footstools, 100%. I would give this to Marth for sure. Only a little bit, but still in his favor. Oh man, two excellent players to watch. I feel like they're both, like we were talking about with Zero and Zenodo, not exactly the most technical or rehearsed with their characters, particular things, but it's just their overall player skill and like their creativity is so sick. Wow. Right after dash attack, getting that getting behind and doing that back throw, but not able to get the KO. He really needed that. Oh goodness. Wow, that was nutty. He likes to go for that a lot. Surprised that dash attack didn't actually hit and good position for Mr. E finally getting the center stage. Now he should just keep ally off the stage or near the ledge. Oh, okay. All right, went for the backwards up B. Still managed to snap, I like it. Oh, the pivot grab though. Mart's pivot grab is gigantic. Like you thought, well, I mean, it's not Bowser size, but yeah. like Bowser's not the only one with a crazy pivot grab in this game. I like that spacing with that fallback neutral. He's gonna keep going for it, knowing that if he gets that tipper to hit, he might be able to get the KO out of nowhere. Oh, Mr. E spends his double jump early, but Ally wasn't ready for it. Usually you'll see him snuff that out. He's so good at detecting fear from his opponents. That's why he gets those roll read up smashes so effectively. Oh, was almost able to get. There it is. Ooh. That fallback neutral air. If you get the tipper part to hit on the second hit, you can get that KO. But he might get grabbed if he keeps rolling like this. Triple back roll. Yeah. I'm loving mystery right now. Honestly, I'm surprised Ali didn't catch the first one, but a fantastic snap judgment punish there. Just recognize the hit on his shield. He's like, yep, I'm going for the down smash immediately. Ooh, has to watch those rolls at these lower percents. Ally sees through. He will get that grab and get a nice combo, even though Marth can up be early out of some of these combos. Right. Though Marth does very much struggle to get back down to the ground once you pop him up. So he's got to mind his struggles. And yeah, that's one thing, man. If Ally reads the up B and he blocks it, he can just flood him away oh in free fall and then cape if he has to. That's rough. And that's a lot of damage, 88%. But knowing Marth, he's able to bring it back right back. Especially since Mario can't do the combo so hard anymore. I was going to say was shield risky. break also still on the table. Mr. E going for it. Not in the best of spots, but still. At least he knows it's available to him. Yeah, I was actually surprised we did not see that earlier, just to run inside B to get some stage. And Ooh, oh. that's the back throw, not gonna KO just yet. Oh, Ally all ready. over the rolls, man. He's ready, and at this point, Mr. E is just an up smash away. We all know how good Ally is at landing those. Yeah, he's been having a bit of trouble getting it, at least in the first two games. But right now might be the chance he's gonna go for the reverse up smash, most likely too. Or just a grab, especially if Mr. E pushes him too far to the corner. He What the? That DI. He might have, no, he's not there for that. Oh, and E coming on with the predictable drop-off, uh, second jump air dodge. Ally ready for it, but not the biggest punish by any means. Still, he is... Ooh, I was gonna say, Ally is not safe by any means. He could get tipper forward smashed or shield broken. <laughs> Definitely a myriad of ways for E to clutch that one out, but instead it's gonna be Ally just solid as ever, going up 2-1 here. And Quite honestly, perhaps my favorite set that we've seen so far. The Captain oh. Zack Mars one was sick, though. Yeah, no matter what, I think uh, Marth versus Mario is possibly my favorite thing to watch. Really? In Smash 4. It's, it's just so beautiful to see the spacing. It's a great, honest matchup, you know? Yeah. Neither character has anything too crazy, but then, you know, there is a fair share of jank. You've got floods and capes and footstools and rage tippers. It's just something about Marth spacing out against uh, Mario. It's beautiful to watch. And yeah, seeing how Mario sure. can get in. Yes, right? Like, there are ways to do it. You know, it's not impossible by any means. Though Marth does have the advantage in neutral. All right, and a lot of downers coming in. Just look at Ally go once he gets these hits, man. Oh, chill. Was he hoping for an air dodge on that one? That was The thing is, if he did air dodge, it would have been too early, you know? Like, yeah. Ally's hitbox would have come out while he was still invincible. Wow. You gotta hesitate if you're gonna read the air dodge. So I'm not sure what he was looking for. Oh, and I love that he's going for the up B to finish the combo. A lot of Mario's try to reset it and let them land on the ground, but you can up B and then reset it, land on the ground before they do, yep. and then start over. 
I'm sure Zenyu somewhere is upset though. <laughs> I know he's not a fan of using up B all that much in combos. Yeah, he's like, you got a down tilt in the middle of the air. <laughs> like, somehow. <laughs> okay, just goes for down throw to fair. That looked like it was a percent range where it's guaranteed, but unfortunately for Ally, not close enough to the edge and also didn't hit the sweet spot. And we have to watch how he recovers. One back air near the ledge could be able to KO him with all this rage coming from Mar Marth, but... Oh, all that rage is gone out the window. He keeps getting him with back throw near the ledge. Even if it doesn't KO, he keeps catching him with that a lot. Yeah, because, I mean, if you're blocking the up smash that Ally strikes fear into you oh with, my then you're going to get grabbed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, he's not wow. He's not letting up at all. Ally is just brutal. Oh, but the cross stage tipper, shield breaker, not quite enough. Ooh, nice fast fall at the end of that up B. Also <laughs> worth noting that Mr. E has been an ally in the past, but he did it with pre patch Sheik a long time oh ago. Oh, my goodness. Ally, man, so good with that back step from the forward smash. We saw it yesterday when he was fighting, uh, was it Mars? Yeah, it was Mars. He walked up to Mars, saw Mars charging a down smash. Wallach, right in the range of down smash, starts his own forward smash, 